While his approval rating in the United States may be slipping, President Barack Obama, whose father was from Kenya, remains popular in Africa. Africans are looking at the symbol of what Obama represents of, of, of change and hope. And um, uh, I believe many Africans are still focused on that, on that promise, whereas we may have lost sight of it. David Easterbrook is curator of the Africa Response to Obama collection at the Herskovitz Library of African Studies at Northwestern University. The library, founded by anthropologist Melville Herskovitz, is the largest separate library in the world for the study of Africa. Uh, the front side is Easterbrook began collecting African-related Obama items on a trip to the continent in 2007, when then-Senator Obama was running for president. Obama as a presidential candidate was big news in Africa, and I decided that since we have a commitment in this library to collecting all kinds of, of information and uh, materials produced in Africa, uh, we should immediately begin to collect materials about Obama, about how Africa is responding to uh, an Obama candidacy. The collection began with newspapers and printed materials. After the election in 2008, it has grown to include more than 500 items featuring Mr. Obama. Among them, a special beer brewed in his honor, various clothing articles, paintings by African artists, and an extremely rare book authored by President Obama's father in 1959. And he wrote a small book uh, of about 60 or 70 pages that was specifically focused on Luo-speaking Kenyans who were learning to read and become literate. And he wrote a small book in Luo uh, as part of this process. Easterbrook and his staff continue to make connections in Africa that keep a steady stream of materials coming into the library. Those connections help spawn another collection at the library that is growing almost as fast as the Obama collection. 2010 World Cup items, such as the popular Vuvuzela horn heard throughout the stadiums of South Africa, show the pride of the continent in hosting one of the largest events in the sporting world. Our mandate is to collect anything that relates to Africa, and I think this is an important event. It's the first time the World Cup is being played on African soil and so many people in Africa play soccer. Um, it's something that anyone can afford to play. Esmeralda Kala is a bibliographer of Africana at the Herskovitz Library. She is categorizing the incoming World Cup items that are as diverse as the continent they come from. Hats, scarves, um, we've got playing cards, soap on a rope, things like that. Kella's home country of Cameroon is represented in the collection, along with items related to the teams in the final. Even after the World Cup is over, it won't be the end of the collection. The number of World Cup artifacts coming into the library has increased in recent days, and Kella expects that trend to continue for the next few months. Many of the World Cup items are currently on display in the lobby of the library on the campus of Northwestern. A public exhibit of the Africa Response to Obama collection is planned later this year. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Evanston, Illinois.